All right, guys, I promise this is gonna be the last video that I blue ball you guys. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also make sure to smash that like button if you like this content. It really helps me out a lot. So we are about to hop over to the product table because we got some new shit and you guys are going to love it. And I'm really sorry we're not doing any running videos today, but you're still going to like this video. I promise. By the way guys, before I even start this video, John from Stupid Fast and I are going to be at the Pocono Raceway on October 19th for ATV and snowmobile drag races. We're going to have both our Banshees there. We're going to run them and we might even have a booth with products and stuff. I don't even know what's going to happen, but we're going to be there. It's going to be on October 19th. The rain date is October 26th. I'll put the flyer up right here so you guys can check it out. Anyways, back to the product table because the product table is what we all care about right now since it's the most important thing because it's right in front of me. All right, but seriously, there's so many packages here behind me. You guys can't see them. It's, it's insane. This, these are, this is probably the most amount of packages that I've ever gotten, and I don't know if I'm ready for it, guys, but I know that I'm not. So uh, end the video. I'm not ready. End the video. Okay, but seriously, let's just get started with this gigantic package. This gigantic package. This gigantic package. This gigantic package. This, this, and this. Okay, so I get carried away on eBay sometimes, and um, I've been getting really excited about doing this 100 mile per hour run. And it's interesting because when I did the first top speed run on the Banshee, by the way, guys, make sure to check that video out if you haven't already. So many of you guys give me crap saying it's not fast enough, this, that, and the other. And I actually did a little bit of research and discovered. You know, it's, I don't think that's, it was slow, but there are some other reasons why my Banshee wasn't topping out quite as fast as you might expect. And I listened to everything that you guys say. I've got a flood of DMs, all kinds of comments and stuff. And a lot of you guys were saying some really repetitive stuff. And um, I'm kind of going to go down the list here. I have all the parts here to rectify why I think it's going slow. Not all of them, but um, at least the more inexpensive ones. So first and foremost is going to be this one. I know some of you guys are already going to know what's in here. Brand new plastics. <clears throat> All right, so these are new old stock by UFO. So I didn't even know that UFO made plastics for the Yamaha Banshee. And um, I don't think they do anymore. Like I said, these are old stock. But this is really perfect. So a lot of you guys were telling me to get rid of the front fenders because they're literally like air scoops. They're like little mini parachutes in the front. And for some reason, some of you guys were saying that it affects the top speed by four miles per hour. I don't know how accurate that is, but I'll tell you what, you could hear the wind like smashing into those fenders as soon as you got the speed up. So I figured what we'll do, I was going to get the uh, Mayer racing front fenders and I was going to get them in lime green. I thought that would have looked sick, but that was 120 bucks. And I kind of, I'm not really a fan of the, the race plastic style where it just kind of stops right here. I like it when they're cut and they kind of look like a blade. I think that looks really cool. So I got really lucky. I got these for 110 bucks ship. They're brand new. And they said in the description that there might be some discoloration from sitting around and um, some wear and tear. Unfortunately, there is a spot right here that uh, if that wasn't there, they'd basically be perfect for what our purposes are. And uh, you can see the warning labels actually have like a plastic outline around them, which is really lame. Uh, like the mayor ones, the stickers come off and you'd never know that they were there. But for our purposes, it's not going to matter because we're shaving these bad boys. Those That part of the plastic's not even going to be there. And it's kind of cool. It's got the UFO Plast graphics on there. I'll probably leave them on there. Uh, it kind of matches the FMF graphics that I have. And uh, that should reduce a lot of drag in the front end. Now, just as a side note, um, I did do a video a while back comparing Mayer plastics to OEM plastics and the OEM plastics had a much nicer construction, not to say anything bad about Mayer. I think they're perfectly fine. OEM just kind of had a nicer fit and finish. There were uh, thicker areas, um, like it was a little bit more, it seemed a little more durable and the cuts where the fender or the uh, tank cover goes and the radiator cover go are much more, um, I guess like accurate and pronounced on the OEM ones where the uh, Mayer ones were kind of, I don't want to say sloppy, but they were rounded and stuff. Now this OEM one looks very reminiscent, or I'm sorry, this this UFO one looks very reminiscent to the OEM. Uh, it's got to see thicker plastic in certain areas. These cutouts are nice and clean. These are probably really good plastics, actually. So I just wanted to mention that. Next, tires. 
These are Doro Scorchers. They are four ply. I chose that specifically because I wanted the lightest rotational mass. I didn't want to go with the like skinny drag racing wheels, but these will be pretty small. They're 19 by 6 by 10 in the front. So the offset with the 22s in the back should look pretty sweet. The quad should have a nice rake just from that. Dude, that's going to look so sweet with that tiny rim like that in the sidewall. Going for like 70s old school drag racing look. It's going to look freaking cool, man. If only these were slicks. That would look really cool. Ew. To complement those scorchers. So straight from DBC Racing, some DWT A5s. These are Douglas wheels, and these are going to look really nice. They came in a matte black, which is exactly what I wanted. And I will show you in a second here what I have planned for the for the uh, the back tires. It should look pretty killer. So let's set these aside. We are going to mount these up tonight, just not right this second. Dueling boxes. Okay, guys, so what we have here are some 8x8 beadlock rims. Now, this is not the company or wheel that I intentionally wanted to go with. I had ordered wheels from Gold Speed. Now, I don't know if you guys have heard from them before or not. I actually have not heard of them before, uh, but they make or sell anyway a rim that is called the Silver Tech wheel, and I've heard really good stuff about it. And you could get them in that matte black finish and you could get any color carbon fiber ring. And it also had a dual bolt pattern. So it has the uh, 4x115 and 4x110. So you could run it on a Yamaha, Suzuki, Honda, whatever you want, which would have been perfect for these street tires because these are, I'm going to use these for pretty much every top speed run I do on all my builds. So that would have been perfect. But I didn't want to wait till mid-October, which is they were back ordered until like that far down the road. Tried a couple other companies and I really didn't want to go with Alba. Um... I'll talk about that later on, maybe in another video, but I just didn't want to go with them this time around. Now, I found these extremely cheap. These were on clearance for 50 bucks a wheel brand new. Now, the company is called Magnum. I've never heard of them. I figured I'd take a risk. They only came in silver with a silver ring. I mean, uh, John actually pointed out to me, just by looking at the pictures, you can tell by the porosity of the aluminum just by looking at it, it's probably a softer aluminum. But for what we're going to be doing with these, I think it's going to be fine. Um, they're just going to be for being used on the street for the speed runs. And even if the bead isn't like the craziest beadlock, it's going to be fine. I didn't really need a beadlock rim. I mean, it's not like a top fuel drag racer where the wheels going to be uh, or the tires going to be slipping on the rim. I just thought it was a really cool look and kind of gives it that old school drag racing look. And last but not least, guys. Some gold spray paint. So some of you guys are going to want to kill me. Actually, what I'm planning on doing with this is painting the rim gold. Now, originally, I did want to get black wheels with a black lip. This was the only option you could get with this setup. So I think it'll look kind of neat with a gold lip. I just, you know, if you've ever seen um, some drag racers on the strip, they have the chrome wheels or aluminum wheels, and they have the gold beadlock. And I just think that looks so sick. So... I don't have the time to go get them powder coated or any kind of coating on this because John and I are planning on shooting this weekend. So I'm going to try the gold spray paint and just see what it looks like. If it looks like hell, I can always change it down the road. It's not going to take any abuse. We're not going off road or anything. So I don't really have to worry about it flaking or chipping off and I'm going to prep it anyway. So we'll see what it looks like, you know, what the hell. Okay, guys, moving along here. All right, guys, so what I have here are drag racing struts. Now, the reason I decided to get these are because the front end gets really sketchy on this quad once you hit like 75 miles an hour. I don't know 
if you guys recall that in the last video. Um, you can't really see it in the footage, but it starts to shake around pretty bad. And it's kind of scary. And after I posted the picture on Instagram and my last video saying that I want to hit 100 miles per hour with gearing, a lot of people were sending me DMs, like an alarming amount, saying that I got to be really careful and taking a quad that's, um, that's, that's not lowered or anything over 100 miles per hour is really dangerous and whatnot, um, which is true. But honestly, I got a little bit scared. So I picked up these, and I think it's just going to be cool anyway. Like I said, I kind of went overboard with the whole drag racing look thing. These are going to add a lot of stability, and they're also going to save weight. These things are really light, and they're adjustable too. So you can adjust the ride height. I'll probably keep them nice and low for what we're doing. But that's going to be really cool. I'm really excited to get this stuff on. I just think it's going to look awesome. All right. Getting down to the last couple packages here. Nothing too exciting. Brand new OEM style hubs from Vito's Racing. I don't think these are actually OEM. They're just OEM style. And the reason I bought these... If you guys saw in one of my um, older videos, my hubs are getting kind of whooped. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these on there because I don't know how many more times I can take a wheel on and off with those hubs. They're probably the original hubs from 1991 or 1990 rather. And uh, yeah, guys, so that is all of the parts. So I'm going to take these hubs and paint them lime green to match the ones that are going to be coming off. And I'm going to go ahead and paint the rings for those beadlocks gold. And we'll get that stuff cooking. Then we'll throw our tires on, get those plastics cut. And um, we'll throw the plastics on. I'm not going to put any of the other stuff on, though, until we get up to John's and uh, start doing our top speed runs. All right, let's get these rings off so we can paint them. Rough this up with some are cooking i'm going to go ahead and put those new plastics on the banshee and i'm going to show you how i plan to cut them okay so this is how she sits these are the mayor plastics that i do not plan to cut and what i'm thinking about doing you guys have probably seen it before um, guys take these fenders and they basically chop them like right along this seam and it kind of looks like kind of gives it a wicked look it's almost like a spike in the front and like back here just kind of come around here and then maybe come down here and round it just a little bit. I'm thinking of that or maybe leaving like an inch of fender and kind of swing it in. I'm not 100% sure. I kind of like to do stuff unique like my own way, something that nobody's ever done before. I mean, a million Banshee plastics have been cut, so I doubt it's going to be original what I do. Uh, but I do like to put a little spin on my stuff to try to make it unique, like I said. Sadly, all of our sponsors are going to go. And... Um, I'm going to put these plastics back on at some point, but these other plastics will basically be, you know, for drag racing and top speed runs. And we'll see. Maybe I'll like it like that. Who knows? But I do know from running cut fenders in the past, it's going to be a mud flinger. Mud just goes everywhere. It gets all over your face and stuff. These fenders really do a good job of stopping mud. So that's why I like full fenders. Plus, I like the look of full fenders, but I do like to switch it up. So let's get those UFO plastics on there and get to work.
All right, guys, now while I have both sets of plastics off, I figured I would take the opportunity to do a side-by-side -side comparison and kind of show you what I was talking about before. Now, I'll go to the UFO, and as I was stating before, you can see how nice and square all of these edges are and everything. And I'll show you what I meant by the kind of like bubbly, rounded look that the mayor have. Not to say it's bad construction or anything, um, but I think that the UFO kind of have a cleaner look. This is more like the OEM style. Um, something else I noticed, Mayer has these kind of rib things here. I believe that's for rigidity. And if you go under here, you can see you can see them on the underside, whereas UFO, again, OEM style. And if you go underneath, it's nice and smooth. Now, I really like that, especially for what we're doing, because when I shave these, I do plan to put some decals under here because you'll be able to see them. I think that'll look really cool. So I'm happy the way this is turning out. These are definitely the plastics that I would want to cut. Um, also, other thing I wanted to mention is that the colors, they look almost identical. They look really good. So it should match perfectly. I don't know if you can see in the camera. It almost looks a little bit darker on the UFO in the camera, but in person, it really depends on the angle. They're basically the same exact color. So... They did a good job. Really happy with that. 110 bucks shipped. So I'm going to throw them on there and we will see what it looks like. But before I do that, let's take the headlights off, man. We don't need headlights for top speed runs, right? Those are like two little mini billboards. Get rid of them. Those UFO plastics are on there, and interestingly enough, these things mounted up so perfectly. I mean, I have to say something about it. The mayors, you kind of have to stretch a little bit. The holes aren't perfectly lined up, whereas these ones were literally OEM, man. Like, they fit perfect. And something else, even if I was to button down these uh, fender mounts, which I'm going to take them off, I almost don't even have to cut the pipe. Or not the pipe, the plastic. If you guys remember the mayors, I actually cut portions out to make the pipes fit, which I don't really flaw the other plastics for that. I guess they're just wider. But um, same thing on this side. I'm not gonna stretch the plastics, but even if you if you put it down against the uh, the bracket there, look, you don't even have to cut it. I really like that. These UFO plastics are nice, man. Um, <laughs> I'm tempted to keep these as the full plastics and cut the Myers, Mayers, but uh, I really do like how smooth it is under here. Um, you know, like I said, because we're going to have a nice cut here. Now, just looking at these things, like I said, I was thinking about kind of cutting along this line, but I don't really like how they aim outwards. If you see, like, they, they're kind of going to point outwards. And I think that looks kind of, I just don't like it. So I think what I might do is come up here, go with the flow of the fender and round it and come back and go down and maybe right like that. Or I might round this, come up and go around. Not 100% sure. I might as well, you know, I can mark it out and um, start bigger, and if I want to take more off, I can always take more off. All right, guys, well, I taped these off to kind of get an idea of what this would look like. I actually spent a good amount of time just kind of thinking and deciding what it would look like. 
I decided not to do the spike thing like I was talking about. I like going back like that. I think that's a more racy look. And it kind of goes with the flow of the bike and like angled backwards. Personally, I think that's going to look pretty cool. Um, I'm sure somebody else has done this design. But I really like it. And then on the inside, we'll kind of round and come in on here. You can see from back here. Get an idea of what it's going to look like. So I'm going to try to chop them on the bike. We'll like use a little cutoff wheel and the Dremel. If I have to, I'll take them off and finish the job. But I don't think I'm going to have to do that. I like it being bolted down and, you know, nice and stable. So let's get the Dremel and start cutting up these fenders. Well, there's no going back now. No sir. I think it looks it'll look pretty good when it's all cleaned up. Alright guys, I got them all done. I think they came out pretty nice. The edges are pretty smooth. Be able to put a decal right under there. I kind of like the contour and everything. Show you from the back what it'll look like as if you're driving it. Plus once the tank and everything's on there, it's going to look a lot better. I think that's a pretty good look though, man. I'm happy with the way that came out. Yeah, buddy. So now I can take off these support brackets. They are useless to me at this point. And we'll throw our tank cover and radiator cover and seat back on and see what this bad boy looks like. baby this came out excellent i am so happy with the way this looks damn i'm usually not a cut fenders guy but man i think that looks sick damn what do you guys think of those cuts man i think it goes with the flow of the bike not too rounded because the Banshee is kind of naturally a boxy look. Got those boxy fenders in the back and everything. Oh man, I think that looks killer. All right, so the paint is finally done drying on our beadlock rims and our hubs. I'm gonna show you what they look like. I think they look pretty good. Here they are. 
I mean, I don't think that looks bad at all. For spray paint, I think it came out looking pretty good. And once the tires are on and the grade 8 goldish bolts are in there, I think it's going to look pretty sweet. So let's put those tires on and we'll see what they look like. All right, first things first, let's put our valve stem in. I don't even know what to say. These wheels and tires look so cool. I literally have no words. This literally looks like a drag racing wheel. I think that is so badass. I can only imagine what it's going to look like on the Banshee. Okay, guys, so I'm going to wrap this video up. I am super happy with the way these back tires turned out. I think it gives it a killer old school dragster look in my opinion that's exactly what i'm looking for with this build i mean i don't know if i would go as far as an extended swing arm but hell i might even put a wheelie bar on this thing now you probably noticed that our front tires are not mounted on those a5 rims and the reason that is is i decided i'm going to take them to a tire shop and have them put on because i could probably get them on with spoons but those black rims they're they might chip up around the rim and stuff if i use spoons and i just don't want to go that route it's worth the 10 or 20 bucks to have them put on at a shop so we are good to go, guys. We got all our bases covered. We got our bigger sprocket sizes. We got our bigger rear tires. We got the street tires. So we should be able to get this Banshee over 100 miles per hour. There's no doubt in my mind. Let me know in the comments section below if you think I can do it. If you don't think I can do it, let me know that also. Um, also, we have those struts. That's going to help us with stability on this Banshee. And um, it's just going to be really neat, man. I'm really excited. So yeah, I'm going to pack this thing up and I'm going to head up to see John at the Stupid Fast Ranch. And in the meantime, guys, make sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. That really helps me out a lot. Remember to comment and share it with your friends. I appreciate all you guys. You guys are the best. You guys have been the best subscribers I could possibly ask for. You guys all rock. And I hope you guys have either a good weekend or a good week. Not exactly sure when I'm going to get this video out. But you all rock. I will see you in the next one. Peace.